So here is the Anaconda website. If you clicked on the link before in the PDF, it will take you here. You'll notice that it's changed the URL, which means in the time since I put together the slides, they've moved things around, but that's fine. The links won't be broken. You'll see this, you'll come hit download, make sure your operating system is correct. I'm on Windows. And then you want the Python 3.7 version and the 64-bit graphical installer, which is the same thing that you'll get if you just hit download. I'm gonna click this keep the file, and now I'm going to wait for it to slowly, slowly download. All right, and now that I've fast forward and sped up time, the download is finished. I'm going to click it and open it, and let's run through the actual installation steps. It's, uh, it's a little bit blurry, sorry about that. I've tried to increase the size of everything so you can read it easier, but Windows scaling is absolute rubbish. They really need to figure out what Mac did for that and just apply the same thing, but let's run through it. We're gonna hit next, we're gonna agree to the license. I normally go all users, whichever one you want uh, works. Uh, yes, blah, 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 blah. You can install it wherever. Um, this is the default. Uh, I have a version here, so I'm going to just move mine and put uh, Anna Conda test. Uh, put yours wherever you want. Uh, now, in here, you can keep both of these unticked if you have any issues or you want to make sure that Anaconda works in s command prompt. So this is essentially with Windows. Uh, Linux users won't get this. They don't need to worry about it. You can tick this, uh, but I wouldn't wor worry about that either. You just hit install. It's going to run through, install everything. It'll take a few seconds. All right, 16 years later, it's now finished. It says it's completed. I click show details. You can hit next, next, and then I'm going to untick this stuff. We don't need it. And Anaconda is now installed. Let's verify that everything worked as expected. All right, so I have now switched back to my actual Anaconda distribution. So no longer testing Anaconda test, but the one that I use for real, which is on a different drive so that if Windows crashes, I don't really care if I have to reformat. To check that that's working, first thing I can do is just search for CMD, command prompt. Uh, if you're on Linux or Mac, uh, you'd want terminal. Uh, this is opened up out of screen. And what I can say is, you know, Python dash V, that shows me that yeah, it's the version that I asked installed. Throw another V, it gives you a bit more information. You can type where Python, and that lets you know that the first Python it finds is the Anaconda 3, and that's where I installed Anaconda, so this is great. Don't worry if there are more. Um, on Linux or Mac, you would type which Python, not where Python. So you see this works for me fine. If I actually go into Python, you'll notice that it, this is a Conda environment. Yay! And it's actually warning us that the, the environment is not activated. So let's just exit out of this. How would you activate an environment? Well, you just go conda active 8. And now you see that it's activated the base environment. So I don't have any virtual environments. And now if I go into Python, you see it's running perfectly fine. And it shows Anaconda right there. So I'll exit out. And then let's also verify this in the Anaconda prompt. Now to verify it there, I'll just close down CMD, and this time I will search for Anaconda Prompt. Again, here it is. You'll notice it's already activated the base environment, makes it super easy. I can go Python-V, it's Python 3.7. We can go into Python, it's the Anaconda one. Everything is working perfectly. Now, other things to note, if I press my Windows key again, and I type in Jupyter, you can see we have Jupyter Notebooks installed. I can type in spider and you can see we have spider installed. If they don't show up, that's fine. You can install them here. It's really simple. So I'm still here in the Anaconda prompt environment and I'm just going to type conda install Jupyter. Run that through. If it doesn't have Jupyter, it will find Jupyter and install it for you. And then you can simply execute Jupyter Notebooks. Uh, hopefully there's a shortcut to it or you can execute it in the command line prompt. I'll show you how to do that once this is finished churning through. Oh look, there's actually an update. Okay, cool. Let me install that update. Uh, it's, it's a good idea after you install Conda, you just go Conda, update, Conda, and that makes sure that everything is up to date. You can see here it's updated a few things for me, including my internal version of Conda, to now launch Jupyter Notebooks. I'll just go Jupyter Notebook. And a few seconds later, the server will start up. It'll give a URL. Uh, it's opened off screen. So let me just copy this here, put that into a new tab. And you can see here, it's open Jupyter Notebooks in my default user document setting. If you want it to open somewhere else, you can just navigate to a different folder and type in Jupyter Notebook there. But it really doesn't matter where you open it. 
And as a quick addendum, if you open your Jupyter Notebooks, you'll be thinking, wow, this looks nothing like what I see on my screen. I have extensively customized how my notebooks look. I'll have a, a few files up uh, after the conclusion, like optional extras, to show you how to customize it to look like this. Uh, but don't worry if it looks different, that's totally fine. And as one very, very super final thing, Anaconda will come with pretty much every package you need. If you need another package, you can come in here. Let me just mash control C to get out of the uh, Jupyter Notebook. You can do the same thing that we did before. You can go Conda install, let's say you want SciPy. You can just type that in, it'll run. If it doesn't work with Conda, try pip install SciPy. If you want to update something, conda update scipy, updating with pip is pip install dash capital U and then scipy. So this is just detected that there is an update scipy 1.3.1 to 1.4.1. I just say yes. Uh, obviously you want the latest packages. Uh, you can install a specific version. If I went conda install scipy equals equals 1.3.1, I would get that version. So that's how you can install packages if you come across anything that isn't in your default install. Okay, and I think that's it. This is probably the most challenging lecture of the entire series. Hopefully you don't have any issues. If you do, let me know, but you should now have a working Anaconda environment with Jupyter Notebooks installed, ready to go and smash through the rest of this course.